Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and today we are talking about the Markdown files. I know you have seen these Markdown files quite a lot, especially on the GitHub. Every time when you see readme.md files, these are Markdown files. They are super easy to create and they're working and the code part which we write into them is super easy to understand and very short. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can write these markdown files as quickly as possible. This is Rush Through Learning with Hitesh. Without wasting any more time, we're going to quickly and we're going to speedily learn about these markdown files. Let's get started. First and foremost, make sure that you understand you have to save your file with the extension .md. MD stands for Markdown. Rest all is pretty easy. First and foremost, let's get started. And this is about this is how you write your normal text, and there is no extra magic here. And in case you want to give more emphasis to your things, uh, you might want to use a pound sign first here. So we're going to call this as heading one. And you guessed it right, we can use pound sign for having a heading two. So we're going to go a heading two. You guessed it right, we do have a h1 to h6, one pound sign, two pound sign, three pound sign, and so far and so forth. A quick side tip, I don't use more than h3 means three pound sign. I just use a normal text after that, but surely you can go beyond that. So that's your heading first here. Now in case you want to make anything italics, so you can go for italics just like this and you can work with that. Make sure you put a trailing underscore as well. This is super important. In case you want to make anything bold, which is also known as strong, but uh, some people like me call this as bold as well, you can use an asterisk sign and make sure you use two asterisk sign starting and before as well. This is super easy, super fun. Now in case you want to scratch anything, which is a most common case, so you can use a two tilde sign. This is just below your escape key and you can t say something like this. Let's just go for a 10,000 and we're gonna scratch that off. So there we go. And instead we can write something in the bold. So we're gonna go for asterisk sign. We're gonna go for asterisk sign and let's just say we're gonna go for 999. And again, trailing ones. So this is how we got it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now let's go and take down how we can use links. So I'm gonna just write a links here. Links are pretty easy to understand in the markdown file. They are followed by the square brackets and then a pair of parentheses. Now the square bracket, you actually write what is going to be the link on which people are gonna click. For example, uh, something like a visit website so this is not yet link uh, because it's not pointing anywhere. So you move into pair of parentheses and then you write your actual uh, link uh, where you want user to be visiting. So I'm going to say HTTPS colon slash slash learn code online. Okay, did I wrote it correct? Nope online dot in so this is how you write it and one more thing in case you are super interested in in the titles as well like for example somebody clicks over it and hovers and the title appears you can surely do that just hit a space inside the pair of parentheses put these double quotes and you can then write it so it's going to be say uh lco so we can just save it and hit enter now when somebody is going to hover it it's going to say lco as well there we go super easy now similarly the images are super easy in the markdown files all you have to do is start with an exclamatory sign a little bit hard for the programmers because they are programmed to understand this as negative but it's not here it's for images again followed by the same uh, criteria here and this is the first thing which is going to be alternative text for the images so we're going to say that lco uh, mascot and uh, then the link of the image so we're going to say https colon slash slash and we're going to say learn code online dot in slash uh, mascot dot png so as soon as you write it it's going to appear now surely we can put a title here just like we did in the link section you can go up and simply say lco or maybe lco mascot whatever you like and it's going to appear as well super simple super easy and i know we are rushing through it but that's the title of the video let's move forward now sometimes you're gonna use code as well. For example, use for loop. So this is what you'll be saying as well. Uh, just moving it a little bit up here. And you might want to say that this is an actual for loop. So you can use again back text here, just below your escape key, and you can just wrap it around. So this moves and looks like a code part. But many times you're gonna use an actual code as well. For example, actual JavaScript to instruct your users how to use your Git repository. You can you start with a three tilde sign and then can mention the programming language itself. It can be Java, Python, Ruby, Perl, whatever you write your code in it. In this case, 
case, let's go for JavaScript. And this provides the syntax highlighting. And this should also end with the three trailing uh, back ticks here or back codes. And inside this, you can write your actual code. For example, we're gonna go for var name, that is gonna be my name. There we go. And after that, we can go for something like uh, console.log and uh, name. So it provides all the syntax and highlighting just like that. And yeah, it works with almost all programming language. Super easy to have it. Make sure you don't forget these back ticks and back code. Another thing that you'll be using is gonna be tables inside these markdown files, and they're super easy. And uh, just one quick word about this. First and foremost, it's not always compulsory to start with these pipes. Uh, these are actually just about your enter key. Uh, but it's actually recommended. This is a good practice. And then you can just write table, then a pipe sign again, and we're going to say goes, and then a pipe sign, and here. You guessed it right how it works. And I'm going to put a trailing pipe sign here as well. So this makes your table, but it's not going to kick in as a table yet because you have to go on to the next line, and then you have to use these trailing signs as well. So put down this pipe sign again, and then at least minimum of them, three dashes are required and then use pipe sign and then three dashes and then pipe sign and three dashes and then a pipe sign. Now in this case, the trailing, the first and the last signs are not at all compulsory and you can go work with that, but you'll see a lot of people just like to add a little bit of the spacing so that it looks actually nice in the code part as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do that quickly. There we go. And on the next line as well, uh, the first line is actually considered as in the bold because that's the heading of your table. You can go up here, use the pipe sign again. We're gonna say one and then a pipe sign and then two and then a pipe sign and then three. So as you notice, this is also gonna work but some of the plugins that you might want to install with the MD files as soon as you're gonna save them, they are gonna make it much more easier to understand. So this is also pretty common but they both generate the same result. So this is how you get your tables up here. Another thing which is pretty common in the markdown file are the codes. I love them personally a lot. I post them a lot. So you can use these arrow sign just and we're gonna say, uh, keep smiling and work harder. There we go. So this is our code. Don't worry, on the GitHub they look much more beautiful than this one, but hey, what we can do. Okay. Now another thing are the list item and you're gonna see them quite common. And for example, I'm gonna say, uh, list one, so there we go, list one, in case you want to have two dot, uh, list two. There we go. Come on, I can write two. And we're gonna get three, and we're gonna say uh, list three. So there we go, this is how we do it. The strange part about it is I can change this three into one as well. Still it appears as a three. Now this is a little bit strange, a little bit weird, but yes, this is how it works. In fact, not only this, you can make everything as just one, still they are gonna appear nicely and it will make sense, so that's a good thing. Another thing that you can do is just put a dash sign and can say a list four, which gives us a simple bullet list, which is an ordered list. And surely in case you want to have further more, we can use the spacings and tabs. So I can use a one, two, three, and then I can simply say uh, probably a one dot, or probably it will make sense if I just write it up here. So we're gonna go enter one, two, three, and then I can say uh, one dot uh, list four, and you can see we have indented it properly just like we want. Come on, I can write four, <laughs> there we go. And this is how our indentation of the list works. Surely, one more thing interestingly here, we don't have to say it one here, but again, uh, the spacing and indentation matters quite a lot. Uh, technically, it would say it would matter that if I write it four here and then probably uh, three here or something like that. But again, this automatically just sort out these things for you. So this was all about having it. Just before we end this video, I'm gonna show you one more neat trick here. Just above our tables, I want to have, let's just say a horizontal horizontal line, I can use three dashes here. And there we go, the gray line is introduced. And there are more than one ways of doing the things. We can use three asterisk sign as well to have this same line here. There's not much of the difference. I think there is a little bit in the bold, but there's not much. So this is quickly a rush through learning of the markdown files. I hope you have enjoyed this kind of learning. If yes, let me know in the comment section, and we're going to surely catch up in the next video.